Cheers everybody, this is Thrash and Thrash Metal Homebrew and Barbecue. Today I'm going to do another beer review for my friend, Beer Man, who is out of Oregon. And this time we're going to be reviewing the Futurism's Double Hazy IPA. There we go. I'm trying to get it where the green screen doesn't really screw with it. There we go. And it is from Berlick Brewing Company out of Portland, Oregon. And there's no born on date on the can. The style is a double hazy IPA and it comes in at an 8% alcohol by volume. There's no malt profile uh, listed and there is no IBUs listed. Brewers comments on this. In honor of all the great things to come in, new, in the new year, we brewed up a totally tubular double hazy with a creamy body popping of overripe papaya, rock concert cannabis, and sweet candy. The future is now. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get this baby poured up. It's got nice, tight bubbles, real creamy. Let me see if there's some stuff in the bottom, which usually there is with the haze. And we did get a little bit in there. Very nice. Nice can. Love the can art. Great stuff. Great. All right, let's take a look. So on the camera, uh, it's showing kind of see-throughish kind of because I think it's the green screen but the color is actually orange uh, really nice tight bubbles not soapy at all uh, you get some um, medium bubbles in here and as you can see as you can't see uh, it's mildly effervescent uh, it's uh, opaque and cloudy so let me do this let me shut that off just for a minute so that we can uh, take a peek at this beer. Let me turn them off. All right. So, as you can see, see it's a like a medium uh, effervescence. I mean, right now it's it's kind of going balls, but down towards the bottom. When I was looking before, it uh, you can't really tell because of the the opaqueness in it. The head is kind of lingering, starting to go away a little bit. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the recording right now and come back and go over uh, go over uh, everything I find in the you know you know the sight, smell, and and taste, and we'll uh, we'll see what kind of a score we give it. Cheers. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I've had a nice, uh, good smell, good uh, taste on it, and let me see what my notes show. Uh, the beer's color is kind of an apricot orange, as I showed before. Not getting it right now with the green screen, as I stated. Uh, the beer's clarity is hazy. Uh, the beer's head is uh, completely white. And uh, it did stick around a bit. Uh, on the uh, carbonation of this thing, it uh, is actually pretty, it was pretty champagne-like when I opened it up. So, uh, yeah, there's, it wasn't uh, hiding hiding any of the, of the, the, the nose, the effervescence was coming right off. This smell is very sweet. You get these light fruits like uh, pineapple, uh, apricot, uh, nectarine, mango. You get the citrus notes of the orange, like a tangerine. You get that orange peel zest in the nose as a, you know, hazy IPA should be. It's, you know, they're, they're rocking when they have all of those great fruit flavors that just meld together from all of the hops. Uh, the taste, cheers. Good lacing. Uh, light to mild bitterness on the front end. Sweet and fruity. Uh, the intensity is bold. It's a very complex beer. Very hearty beer. You can almost chew this thing. It's nice and thick, like a good hazy IPA should be to me. Uh, the intensity is bold, complex. It's hearty. And the beer taste evolves in the, in the mouth. Um, when you drink it, you get that uh, that straight bitterness with the fruit coming in, and it, it uh, really covers the palate uh, 
just envelops your mouth with really good sweet fruitness and, and the bitterness, which really balances great. And it dissipates on the swallow where you have a nice fruity uh, lingering feeling in your mouth where um, you get bitterness on the tongue and on the back of the palate. It even sticks around on the front of the palate a little bit. Uh, the beer's finish is dry, fruity and sweet. And it's a little warming. It's 8% and it it doesn't quite hide it all, but you can still tell it's a um, you can tell that it's a little hot on, on on the mouth. It's not so bad that when you open up your mouth, you can feel the alcohol come off your tongue. It's not that at all. It's very um, it's a little yeah like it's a little warming. It's bitter. It's quenching and uh, very lingering in the mouth. It's really nice. Uh, it, it's uh, one of those beers that you uh, that you have where when you're done drinking it, you just want to go back for more. You know, I, I think I've said that to, on all of the hazies that I've had, where it just is such a great envelopment of the mouth and the, your, the palate, everything mixes up so good. It's great. Uh, the beer's mouthfeel is prickly. It's creamy. It's it's warming. The carbonation level, like I said, after looking at it, I actually put a light up to it, and uh, this thing was going <laughs> balls to the wall. So, uh, yeah, it's a uh, Pretty good uh, effervescence. Got the CO2 just bubbling like crazy in here. Uh, the beer's carbon, yeah, yeah, that's the beer's carbonation level. The beer's body is full, robust, and balanced. And yeah, it's a really good beer. Thank you very much, uh, Beer Man, for sending this to me. And I will enjoy the rest of this. And yeah, if you guys uh, like uh, the reviews, honest reviews on beers and stuff, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below. Hit that bell. You know what to do. Yeah, I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. And uh, yeah, this is a really good beer. Stay tuned for another one of, of Beer Man's uh, beers that I'll review. And then I also have some from uh, Bumpy Road Brewery as well. So stay tuned for those. So remember, keep rocking, keep doing what you're doing. Never stop homebrewing. Enjoy great craft beer, man. Good stuff. Cheers.